in the heart of Youngstown, Ohio, a dedication is planned this summer for a prominent new statue of two men, Jackie Robinson and a native son of the city for a simple act of decency 75 years ago. Youngstown is just as black as it is white, and you have a mix of other cultures as well in there. We like to say that Youngstown invented grit. Well, a George Shuba also represents the best of us by doing the right thing in the right moment. My name is George Shuba, S-H-U-B-A. I played with Jackie in 1946 in the very first game he played at uh, Roosevelt Stadium in Jersey City. Ladies and gentlemen, 25,000 people are here to see baseball history made today at Roosevelt Stadium in Jersey City. For this, the opening of the 1946 International League season. In this New Jersey ballpark, the third batter on April 18, 1946, was outfielder George Schuba. Ahead of him, second baseman Jackie Robinson, making his minor league debut for the Montreal Royals. What will the highly publicized Jackie Robinson do today? Will organized baseball's first Negro player make good, or will he fail? On his second at bat, Robinson blasted his first hit, a three-run home run. I happened to be the next batter in rotation as he came around third base. Everybody's watching to see if I was going to shake his hands, which I did. I have that picture, and it's such a great picture of Jackie. The expression of happiness on his face that you can see he was so happy that he had a great day that day. The historic interracial handshake appeared in newspapers across North America, accompanying coverage of Robinson's remarkable day. Four hits, two stolen bases, four runs scored, four driven in, and two balks provoked in a 14-1 win. Years later, he said, this was the day the dam burst between me and my teammates. Northerners and Southerners alike, they let me know how much they appreciated the way I had come through. I certainly appreciated that he was able to uh, perform so uh, magnificently under such tremendous pressure. When Robinson and the team got home to Montreal, he was an immediate hit. Here's Jackie Robinson. Hello, Montreal fans. Certainly a pleasure being up here playing for you. We hope we'll be able to give you a good team. Thanks. Robinson and the Royals soared that season. Then he embarked on a decade as a Dodger, mostly with Shuba as his teammate. Their handshake at the plate soon became an obscure footnote, but always held a special place at home for Shuba. He didn't have plaques. He didn't have pictures of himself. He didn't have uh, team photos, anything shiny on the wall. There was no, no, nothing of that. It was just the handshake photo. For decades, the man nicknamed Shotgun for hitting line drive shots all over the field kept mostly to himself about the handshake. But Mike Shuba eventually persuaded his aging father to share with others a message he imparted at home. We went all over to schools and institutions talking about doing the right thing. If you're ever put on the spot, just do the right thing and everything will work out fine. By 2014, when Shuba died at 89, the handshake had come to define him. And now it's to be in bronze with a permanent public place in his hometown, in the downtown park complex that Derek McDowell helps run. I wasn't familiar with George Shuba, and it was so mind-blowing to learn of someone cut from a Youngstown cloth to go on to do something in a moment that was captured as the handshake of the century. One man black, one man white, had a friendship and they shook hands over a feat that took place that helped the two of them bond to win a ball game. Former major leaguer Herb Washington is a Youngstown entrepreneur. Jackie Robinson is inspiration for me. When times are tough, 
uh, being an athlete uh, in business because it started with education. And everything he did, he excelled at it in spite of the odds. In the borough of Brooklyn, where Robinson famously shattered the major league color barrier, what's literally a monumental undertaking is almost complete. There's not a huge history of handshakes in art. The works of renowned artist Mark Mellon, a Brooklyn native, include world leaders as well as world-class athletes. Those hands are really a mutual embrace of the moment, a joyous celebration of uh, what our team together is celebrating. In the same art foundry, that's using the same centuries-old process it did to produce the Iwo Jima Memorial, the iconic Marine Corps statue in Arlington, Virginia. The handshake is portrayed by Mellon as timeless history in the making. It's a teaching moment for our kids and our grandkids, the decent thing to do when your teammate, who's not of your religion or color or background, does something right is to extend your hand. It will be a very emotional day for me to see this statue standing seven feet tall. I've been trying to immortalize this moment for 25 years, and to see this happen now is, uh, is very gratifying. The statue wasn't Mike Shuba's idea, but as the 75th anniversary approaches for a basic gesture, a symbol of unity, he continues to tell his father's story. From George Shuba's own words, I consider myself the fortunate one to shake his hand after his first ever hit, a home run, was an honor that I will never forget, as that was the day that professional baseball changed forever. <laughs>